Welcome to MuseScore in Minutes, a series of short videos that will quickly get you up and running with MuseScore 2.0. I'm Dr. George Hess. In each of these videos, we'll look at how to use some of the basic functions of the exciting new version of this program. MuseScore is a free and open source music notation program that's a great alternative to Finale and Sibelius. You can download it for free at the website shown on the screen. Lesson 8, Repeats and Endings, Part 1. In this lesson, we'll take what we've done so far and create an arrangement using copy, paste, and various types of repeats. It'll make it easier to follow along if we turn on measure numbers first. Go up to the Style menu, select General, then check Header Footer Numbers, and down at the bottom, tick Measure Numbers, Interval, and then set it to 1. Now we'll fill out the rhythm section under the head. MuseScore has a very well hidden command that will let us copy and paste at the same time. I've selected all of my measures for the rhythm section, and if I type the key R, it copies and pastes it all in one stroke. So let's just do that for all 12 measures. Our score is going to get a little large and so I think it'll be easier to work with it if we switch to continuous view. Now we'll use the transpose tool to create our chord progression. Going to measure 5, I'm going to select measure 5 and 6 in the guitar and bass and go up to the notes menu, select transpose, we'll transpose it up by interval and it's going to go up a perfect fourth. At measure 9, we'll do the same thing, but we're going to transpose it up a perfect fifth. And then we need to transpose measure 10 and measure 12 as well. It's pretty common to play the head of a blues twice, so let's go ahead and create first and second endings. We'll start out by using our repeat command, selecting measures 11 and 12, and type R. Next, go to the bar lines palette and select the backward repeat and drag it to measure 12. Go back to measure 1 and select a forward repeat and drag it to measure 1. Now we'll go to the lines palette and we'll select the first ending and drag it to measure 11. Now I need this to extend to measure 12, so I'm going to double click and then hold the shift key down and press the arrow key. Don't just drag it, it won't work, it won't play back correctly. Now we can drag the second ending to measure 13. We need to do just a little bit of touch up. Our first ending should have the pickup note in it in the melody. So we'll go ahead and change that. And then also, I'd like to go ahead and make this sound a little bit more like a turnaround by putting a rest on the downbeat in the guitar and the bass. And so we'll just click on those and type zero. This has been MuseScore in Minutes, a production of George Hess Music. For future videos, please subscribe to this channel. And for information about music technology training and clinics, please visit our website. Thanks for watching.